What's up, guys? It's me, your pet ass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Brown walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we actually went to the Castro Forest, Castro Valley Forest, I think, and yeah, now it is time for us to actually go through Route 66, I believe. Hold on, let me take a look. I never remember these things quickly. No, it's Route 62, and apparently there is a Pokemon around here that you can actually capture, and this guy's like, I want your money. Well... That is exactly what we're going to be doing right here. We're going to be taking on Pokemon trainers and seeing what is up next. Now, as you can see, the Pokemon have gotten stronger, which, uh, well, it's pretty cool. It's good. It's good because, you know, I kind of want to kick some butt, take names, and get everybody leveled up and everything. And, well, here comes a head, but that's your biggest mistake because, uh, you know, good old Sunny is a grass type Pokemon and it will destroy you. Look at that. Slow bro, not feeling it, not feeling like himself right there. And well, let's see, he's coming out with a Kangaskhan. Now I did have a K Kangaskhan on my team, but it kind of felt like I, it didn't, yeah, it didn't really fit on my team. I don't know what I was thinking. So let's go straight for the double kick. Oh yes, now this is one beefy Kangaskhan, and well, so far it's not doing anything. But here comes a rage attack. And well, he's gonna come out with another rage, I believe it, but no. We are good. Bruce Lee takes it and it's at level 33. Okay, and he's trying to learn rolling kick. Alright, I gotta take a look at this. Uh rolling kick. Let's go ahead and switch it for counter since, you know, it's hardly ever that, you know, Bruce Lee's a uh, slow right there. So there we go. His first loss. Oh, <laughs> that sucks. Okay. So let's go right ahead and start defeating everybody in here. This place probably reminds me of Vermilion City's uh, extra route that goes into... Shoot, I can't remember what, what route it was. can't remember what route it is, but you guys know what I'm talking about. The one next to Diglett's Cave. And here we have an engineer wanting to battle us, coming with an Electabuzz. Holy crud. Okay, so uh, yeah, they stepped it up right here. I'm going with Sunny because I do not want anything. I don't want any of that. And, well, there's a Leer attack coming from Electabuzz. So let's go right ahead and go for a Body Slam. Battle of the Fatties right here. And, well, there's another Leer attack. Obviously, this guy's going to try and, you know, physically hit us right there. So, here we go. That's a victory. Sunny kicks butt. And here comes another Electabuzz. So, yeah, this guy... Wow, they actually... Wow, they actually stepped it up with the uh, with the Pokemon. That's great. So here we go. Body Slam does another one. And, well, there we go. Sunny does its trick. And uh, look at that. Level 35. And, wow, three Electabuzz. I am, uh, I am impressed. Okay, so let's go right ahead and go with a, a Razor Leaf. And, well, this guy keeps on hitting us. Taking advantage of those leers that we've been getting. And, well, there we go. Razor Leaf nearly takes out Electabuzz. Let's go with a Body Slam. Alrighty, alrighty. Body Slam does its trick. And, well, Engineer has been defeated. Repaired. <laughs> okay, alrighty. So I'm liking the Pokemon that are coming, are like, are, are with these guys right here. And, well, let's see. There's nothing right there. And, let's see. I'm not finished! Uh, okay, so what are you not finished? And here we have another engineer, and wow, he's coming out with a Jolteon. Man, I'm coming out with just the wrong Pokemon at the wrong time, so let's go, Sunny. Let's do this, and we're probably going to have to heal our Pokemon right here, too, so. Let's see, Jolteon do, doing a tackle attack. Let's go straight for a Body Slam. And right now, we are not faring too well against this guy, so... Let's go right ahead and use a Super Potion just to give uh, Sunny some uh, points back. Look at that. And here comes the quick attack. This Jolteon right here is a little... Yeah, it's... Wow, it's really hitting me. And, well, there comes a Thundershock. Not effective, but it's a critical hit. So here we go. Come on, critical hit right here. Please, critical hit. And it is a critical hit, so we got somewhat of an advantage in this guy right here keeps on tackling us down but we win the tackling attacks with a body slam there we go and yes engineer is like no fair okay 
Let's go right ahead and heal our Pokemon because uh, it's looking like it's going to be a tough one coming in right here. And maybe just maybe I should switch out uh, my Pokemon to Ultra Psycho now that it's fully evolved because, you know, Kathy, not at level 30 yet. Okay, so let's see. Let's go right here. No, not right there. Hold on. Ultra Psycho, go into Kathy. Let's get this and let's go. And so far, we're probably going to be running into a Pokemon here and there. Let's see. What kind of Pokemon are we going to go up against? Of course, a Pidgeotto, because... I don't know, Pidgeotto's the mascot. And, well, we're not going to deal with it. Not right now. And, god dang it! Another Pokemon. And it's a Psyduck. Okay, so now I gotta go back into, like... I really, 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 really gotta go back into, like, uh... Editing these, these, uh, these, these pay or these parts right here, because I really don't care about the Pokemon right here no more. Well, that or just use a Super Repel right here, and well, here we have another into, well, playing craps. Okay, so here we have another Gambler. All right, let's see what you're all about, homie. He wants the fight, and he's coming out with his Weeping Bell. Big mistake. Big big mistake right here. All right, so let's go with a side beam attack, and that right there nearly takes out Weeping Bell. And Jeebus! Wow. Okay, so we're gonna go with a try attack right here. See what happens. And well, this acid attack is not gonna. Yeah, it hits me pretty hard right there. So here we go, try attack, and that was super effective. Okay, okay, that's new. Okay, so let's see. He's coming out with a gloom. Stay with the Ultra Psycho to see what this uh, Tri Attack does against this Pokemon, since it is a Poison type Pokemon too. And oh, it's a it's a Tri Attack? Huh. Hmm. Okay, so I don't I don't get it. Yeah, I really need to understand where they're coming from with all these typings right here. So here we go with another Acid Attack. Kind of sounds like Ass Attack. Alrighty, okay, so let's go try attack. And uh, that is super effective. And wow, we are gonna get put to sleep right here. Alright, let's see if this, uh, yes, okay. There we go. That's right, the Poke Flute actually wakes up this Pokemon. And well, here comes an acid attack, and wow. <laughs> They are making it difficult for me to actually beat these guys. So here we go, another try attack. Okay, and yes, Gloom is no more. And well, we get to level 34. Everything's going well, and Gambler has been defeated. I had a chance. Yeah, you didn't have a chance at all. We had multiple Pokemon right here. So let's see. You know, I could use those two rare candies at some point. I don't know. Okay, so. There we go, and well, let's go right ahead and continue our adventure. And he's like, my Pokemon should be ready by now. It should be, but it, it, it probably won't. So here comes a youngster coming out with a Nidorino. And coming at level 34, Ultra Psycho. Try attack. Poison. No, it's not effective against this Pokemon. Okay, so I'm like I'm like super confused. Maybe it's a maybe it's super effective against uh, grass types. I don't know. I'm still very very confused. And good gravy, come on, man! Oh my god, five times. I was about to say if you hit me a sixth time, that's gonna be some BS right there. So here we go, side beam, super effective. Say goodbye to Nidorino. Okay, okay. And well, you're about to come out with a Nidorino. I got the I got the remedy right here. Look at this. Eat this. Psybeam attack. By the most powerful Pokemon out there. Ultra Psycho. Eat it, Nidorina. Okay, alrighty. And, well, too young, too late. Okay, so. Let's see. There's no other Pokemon right here, but there should be another trainer here nearby. Nope. And, well, let's see what what's up right here. Is there anybody in here? I don't know. Maybe. I do not know. And, well, there is that sleeping Pokemon that they were talking about. And, well, we do have the Poke Flute. The only problem is... Huh. 
Let's see. Do I have that move? Nope, this is Skull Bash. Let's see. Noise Pulse. I don't know what Noise Pulse is. Let's see. There we go. Seismic Toss. Okay, so... You know what? Screw it. We're gonna go in this. We're gonna save the game. Hopefully we capture this Pokemon. And that's why we got enough, uh... Well, that's why we got enough, uh... What you call it? Uh... Ultra Balls for this, so... Let's go right ahead and wake him up. See what he's all about. Let's see. There it is. Poke Flute. Okay, let's get this. Alrighty. And Snorlax has, oh yeah, Snorlax has woken up, and now it's attacked us, and look at this. Wow, look at the sprite for Snorlax. <laughs> I believe that's what, um, that's Pokemon Green's version of it. So let's go with a Tri-Attack, see what it does. Not super effective, but, oh wow, completely forgot about the whole, uh, physical attack kind of thing. Let's go with a recover. Come on, Ultra Psycho. Do it for the team. And here comes a headbutt by Snorlax. And, well, I'm going to have to use a sacrificial uh, move. Psybeam attack. And that nearly takes him out. So here comes another headbutt attack. And there goes Ultra Psycho. Good gravy. Okay, so let's go right ahead and... You know what, let's go ahead and switch to... Oh, wait, um, no, 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 I don't have... I don't have that move. Okay, so let's go to Hurricane, see what it does against this guy. Let's go straight for a quick attack. And... Wow, okay, so it's resting. Okay, you friggin' Snorlax, I see what you're doing. I do not like it, so here we go, Gust Attack. Not effective, good gravy, okay. Uh, fly attack. We're gonna, yeah, there is no freaking way we are gonna, like, just defeat it like that. And there comes in an amnesia attack, so it's, yeah, its defenses are going up right there. Do not like that. And here we go with a fly. Good gravy. Oh, yeah, its special has increased. So this guy is getting powerful. And here comes a sleep. Oh, God. This Pokemon is, uh,. Yeah, this Pokemon's getting on my goddamn nerve. All right, let's fly again. Come on, we gotta do this. Fly attack, and wow, it is powering up like nobody's business. The only way we can get out of this is uh, through a ghost type Pokemon. And well, here comes a head, but that's not a special. That's that's a physical right there. All right, let's go with a quick attack. And it is, okay, so it is weak enough. And we're going to be throwing a Ultra Ball right here. Come on! Let's go, Ultra Ball. One. God dang it! And here comes a headbutt again. Gravy. Okay, so it has survived with 5 HP. So here comes another quick attack. And, okay, so I'm not going to risk it again. So let's go with an Ultra Ball. Come on! Damn it! And there goes another headbutt attack. God damn you, Snorlax. Okay. Alrighty. Let's see. You know what? Let's go with Sunny right here. It is beefy enough to go up against this guy. So let's go with another Ultra Ball. Come on. Stay in that ball. Okay. So we need to put this guy to sleep. And yeah. It's using Amnesia for no reason whatsoever. And there we go. God dang it. And, okay, so seriously, man, you, you gotta use another move. There we go. One, two, three. Yes! We cut ourselves, Snorlax, and, well, you guys already know what we're gonna be calling this guy. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay. So here we have Snorlax, the sleeping Pokemon. Very lazy. Just eats and sleeps. As its rotund bulk builds, it becomes steadily more slothful. Alrighty. Yes, we are going to nickname this guy. It's a uh, original nickname. We bequeath you the name Tank right here. And, well, you are being transferred to the PC, which is great. And, well, there's nothing right here. And that stops us from going anywhere. Holy crud. Okay, please tell me. Okay, where the heck are we? Like, I am skipping through... Oh, wow. 
Check out my catch. Okay, so, uh, yeah, we got a lot of fishermen right here. I am skipping out my, uh, yeah, I'm skipping out everything right now, so. Let's go right ahead and take on this war turtle. Okay, level 35. And, well, it is one level away from evolving, which is great. But, holy crud. It is tough at level 35 as well. So there we go. And you are paralyzed, my friend. Okay, alrighty. Let's do this again. And, well, another tail whip. I'm trying to lower our defenses right here. Alright, and there goes War Turtle. And Kathy has grown to level 30, which is great. It's awesome. Uh, okay, so let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Let's go with Sunny. And you know what? We should probably revive those other Pokemon right here. And yes, there's nothing right here except for this guy. And yes, he's saying fishing is his life, which is good. So freaking good. Alrighty. Let's get this in. Wow, he is coming out with a Dratini, so I did not expect that. I am only assuming you can get a Dratini around here. Holy crud. There is a lot of stuff that I am missing right here. And, wow, agility, doing it again. And here comes a body slam for the win. And, well, he's coming out with another Dratini. So this guy, I'm only assuming he found Dratini around here. Because if he did, then I kind of want one. And I kind of want to just, like, I kind of want to evolve it. You know, that kind of stuff. And, well, there goes Dratini again, defeated. Sunny doing its thing. And, well, he's coming out with a dragon here. So let's go switch it up. Let's go straight to Kathy since we do have the Pokemon for this job. Alrighty. Let's go. Let's go with an Ice Beam attack right here. And there's the Thunder Wave. Oh, gravy. Here comes Ice Beam. Super effective. Say goodbye to Dragonair. I'm happy about that. Very, very happy. Okay, and then let's see another Dragonair. This guy. Where did you find all these Dragonairs? I, I, I want to. I want to know. I really do. And here we go. Ice Beam attack. And Dragonair survives that. Good gravy. Okay. And well, there's a slam. And well, there is another Ice Beam attack for the win. Look at that. And level 31. Yes, level 31. Okay, so he's uh, Kathy's learning Confuse Rage. Should I? Let's see. Let me see what kind of moves it can actually forget. And and you know what? Let's go. Let's switch out Reflect right here. All right, there we go. And there we go. And uh, well, let's go ahead and start healing our Pokemon right here. Yeah, because we got our butts kicked by one Pokemon right here. So, Ultra Psycho, welcome back to the team. And, let's see, let's see, Revive, let's go with Hurricane. Welcome back to the team. And, well, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's go Super Potion. There we go. And, let's see, what else, what else, what else? Nice, okay, and then Kathy, we need to, we need to heal up Kathy too. Holy crud, okay. And, well, let's see, it's got a lot of HP right there, so let's go ahead and give it a uh, Paralysis Hill right here. And, yes, we are now good to go. Let's move on. And, yes, the Repel has worn off, so I'm, I'm seriously wondering what Pokemon you can actually find right here. So, actually, you know what? Let's go straight to the Pokedex. I want to see something right here. I really want to see something. Let's see, Dragonair. Dratini and Dragonair. Areas. You cannot find them. What? That's some BS right there. Oh! But Dragonairs you can actually find. Huh! You don't say. Okay, okay. That's got me uh, perplexed, you know. I am a little perplexed. And, well, here comes another person. And he's like, be patient. Okay, alrighty. So here we go. Against another fisherman right here. And he's coming out with a tentacle. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, so let's go ahead and body slam this guy, and, well, tentacruel, tentacruel, I should say. Yeah, doing his thing right there, so let's go, another body slam, come on, let's go, and there it is, paralyzed, and, well, another poison sting, doesn't affect me very much, and there we go, body slam for the win, 
And look at that, level 36 for Sunny. And Uzi coming out with another tentacruel. So let's go ahead and switch out to Ultra Psycho. And, well, let's go right ahead and use a Psybeam right here. Okay, alrighty, alrighty. And a Constrict Attack, what the hell? Oh, don't be, oh, okay. So we gotta get this guy off of us because Constrict is a pretty bad one right there. Okay, and there you go. Look at that. Okay, and, uh, well, Ultra Psycho, level 35. And everything's good. Everything is good. Okay, so, yeah, we would love to fish for these Pokemon right here. What is this? TM16, huh? Okay, where in the heck are we going? Because this is, like, this is awesome, man. Well, let's see. We got Payday. All right, so this is definitely, like, uh, close to Lavender Town. Who is this? Hi there, kid. I just bought a bunch. Uh, I just bought a bunch of HMO3s to add to my HMO3 collection. Although I think you will need one to go to Eagle City. So here you go, kid. Oh crud! We don't have a uh, room for this fabulous prize. And <laughs> okay, so this is somewhat like this is kind of like the Safari Zone right here. Uh, well, let's see. You know what? Let's go ahead and use rare candies. Uh, who needs them the most, Kathy? Kathy for sure. And you know what? Let's go give one to... Let's go give one to Hurricane just in case for this one. And it's trying to learn Wing Attack. And I kind of want to know what... Okay, Wing Attack is a flying type move. Uh, let's go ahead and take away Gus since it really hasn't done us anything. I mean, what is a Wind Attack? I want to know that. Okay, so let's go ahead. Yes, please give me the HMO3 because we need it. We need to go... Uh, we need to travel. And it is served. Pokemon will be able to ferry you across the water. And this HM is not disposable, so you can use it over and over and over. Cool. Hmm. Okay, so we got HM03. Now, I'm, I'm only assuming that we can actually find, uh, what was it? We can actually find HM04, which is strength. And, well, we're going to take away Bubble Beam right here since, you know, Kathy's now learning surf. And now we can actually surf here. Since we do have five badges and whatnot, and I don't know where we're at. Okay, so who's this guy? Yeah! Okay, alrighty. Here we go, going up against a fisherman, and he's coming with a Sea King. And well, let's go with Sunny. Let's get it. Razor Leaf. Razor Leaf does its thing, and. Well, look at that. Sea King is no more. Okay, alrighty, alrighty. And, well, who's he coming out with another Sea King? So, let's just continue right here with Sunny. Now, st something that I've noticed is that eventually I'm going to have to start, like, really, really putting some effort into my team. I This is, believe it or not, an impromptu team. I'm just, like, you know, randomly putting one team or another, mainly because, well they've gained experience or they've shown some kind of strength and all that stuff. I'm really liking Hitmonlee. Uh, Magmar, both Magmar and Lapras have been growing quickly just because they are traded Pokemon. And look at that. Sunny's grown to level 37. Obviously, I'm keeping my starter because, well, why not? And, well, let's see what this is all about right here. I'm the fishing guru's second cousin uncle, or second cousin's uncle uh, twice removed. Like fishing? Yes, I do. Ah, uh, gravy. Okay, so yeah, this uh, yeah we we have got to start using uh, these moves. So let you know what? Let's see what uh, let's see what, let's see what noise pulse does, and who can learn? It? Okay, so it looks like good old Ultra Psycho can learn it. So let's go right ahead and teach him this move, noise pulse, and take away disable. And there we go, Noise Pulse. Don't know what it is, but we will find out eventually. And, well, he's a second cousin twice removed. And, well, there we go. We got ourselves a good rod. And, well, that will enable us to get, I guess, even better water-type Pokemon. I don't know. And, let's see. I don't know where we're at. Let's get the heck out of here. And, huh. You don't say. Okay, so... Huh, where in the heck is in Carmen San Diego are we? And well, here we have a Pidgey. 
If you guys don't remember... Hmm. Let's see if we don't kill this guy. If you trade a Pidgey in Castro Valley, you will be able to get yourself a Chansey. And I'm going to try and get this guy. And it did not survive because of a critical hit. So that's great. That's awesome. Okay. Uh, where in the heck are we? Huh. I feel like we were here before. Yeah, I kind of feel like we were here before. Huh. Okay, so let's go ahead and surf. Actually, there we go. Surf. And, well, let's see. If we get out of here... Yeah, we were here before, I think. Hmm. And we're going up against a Venonat right here. And, well... Let's see, where in the heck are we? Okay. Huh. Yeah, we were there at some point, so... We're gonna... We're gonna actually pause our game right here, guys. In the next episode, we are going to... Well, we're gonna go into the next place. I don't know where, but we'll get somewhere. Uh, we're going to check out a few things since we are now capable of surfing and whatnot. And then from there, I guess we'll figure it out. We'll try and figure it out. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.